Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about Linux desktop environments. I've been using Linux for many years and so far there is one I like the most. It is called GNOME. There are several other options including lightweight, heavyweight, rich in default applications and tools, simpler to use. We need to get deep into these options so we can find out which one is the best option for you. But before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and help supporting it. Please comment below for any suggestions or questions you might have and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it. Okay, let's have a look at this table where we can see many different options on desktop environments for Linux. Desktop environments like GNOME, KDE and for example Mate and Cinnamon are being talked about lately but of course for example LXDE and LXQT are also being uh, used a lot. We have desktop environments being used in very specific distributions and other that are uh, being uh, used widely in uh, many different uh, distributions like for example GNOME being used in lots of different distributions, Ubuntu itself, Pop! OS, MX Linux, Kali for example or Arch Linux, Debian, Fedora, Kubuntu or Gentoo that also share the same desktop environment, KDE. Okay, let's browse around them and see some examples of uh, the features, pros and cons, utilities, uh, uh, default applications that we can find before we can get uh, a final decision. GNOME is one of the most popular desktop environments out there. Many of the popular Linux distros use GNOME as their default desktop environment and it has uh, some popular forks like uh, Cinnamon. It is designed to be very easy to use and customizable, but the user interface um, also aims to provide a unique experience. Unfortunately, GNOME isn't a lightweight uh, desktop environment. It is not a great choice if you are looking to install in a, an older computer uh, with less than 4 gigabytes of uh, RAM. They focus uh, on performance uh, in their recent versions, but uh, if you want a, a good user experience with something that looks different from the Windows, it should be a perfect pick. Okay, uh, the pros should be uh, the modern look and uh, the reason uh, why they made it customizable is to really look different and the cons should be uh, not suitable for old computers and uh, not the best uh, for a, a Windows tailored uh, a user. So if you, if you move to Linux for the first time, you might get uh, some um, uh, strange feelings about the, the looks of uh, GNOME experience. LXQT is a lightweight QT desktop environment. When compared to LXDE, I feel it has a lightweight desktop environment while providing a, a better user experience than LXDE. Uh, I mean in terms of look and feel. I, feel it, I find uh, it to be a great replacement uh, to LXDE on uh, Lubuntu for example. I will uh, demonstrate in this video. Uh, LS, LXQT tries to present a modern look uh, without compromising performance, but uh, still um, it is not the most intuitive experience uh, we have uh, seen uh, out there. If you want performance, LSQT is a great choice. In terms of pros, I think it is extremely fast uh, and lightweight. It has a very nice uh, user interface for a, a lightweight desktop environment, but a uh, user uh, may see um, an appealing um, because it is not much customizable and it is available on very few distributions. K 
KDE is also one of the most popular desktop environments available on Linux and it is also known as Plasma Desktop. I wouldn't uh, choose it as my primary choice, but I start to like it a lot. I think I still prefer GNOME's simplicity. KDE is highly customizable and yet uh, fairly lightweight for the look and feel. There are uh, benchmarks already made that find KDE lightweight and comparable to XFCE. The overall is that KDE is incredibly lightweight desktop uh, while being one of the most flexible as well. The pros uh, should be modern and polished user interface, several uh, useful tools built in and extremely lightweight even though, and the cons should be the customization options and tools that are a little bit overwhelming for newbies. Uh, so people uh, switching to Linux uh, right now should be uh, in potential confusion while using KDE. I think for those users, GNOME would be more appropriate. XFCE is one of the most lightweight desktop environments out there. Unlike LXQT, you will find that uh, major Linux distributions support XFCE uh, editions. It is uh, light on resources but proves to provide a feature-rich uh, user experience. If you need a performance uh, desktop environment without needing advanced customizations, I think uh, XFCE is a great choice uh, to go with. And you will also find that major Linux distribution like Manjaro Linux, uh, uh, X Ubuntu, MX Linux or Zorin OS Lite and several other uh, feature uh, XFCE as default desktop environment. Has pros, uh, I would uh, uh, say that lightweight is one of them and an adapt uh, adaptable uh, to hold hardware and yet modern and uh, visually appealing. A Windows-like familiar uh, user interface. Has cons, I think uh, it has no advanced customizations. Mate uh, desktop environment is based on GNOME 2. It was initially developed for a user who didn't like GNOME 3 when it was uh, released. Uh, Mate has improved the desktop environment in, on a lot of grounds, but uh, to fill it you really need to explore its features. Uh, Mate desktop is suitable for almost everyone. In addition to the user experience, it is also uh, worth noting that it is a lightweight desktop environment as well. It comes with a collection of applications and includes a number of built-in useful tools. Ubuntu Mate is one of the official flavors on Ubuntu that uh, utilizes uh, Mate's desktop. In terms of pros, uh, it is a really easy to use and robust experience, lightweight and uh, yet uh, very customizable. The cons uh, should be uh, that uh, it may not offer the most intuitive user experience. Really, use it and feel it. Cinnamon is a fork of GNOME 3 and was initially developed to be the default desktop uh, environment for Linux Mint. It is known for its similarities with the Windows user interface, which helps uh, new users f get comfortable uh, using uh, this uh, distribution easily. That's uh, why uh, Linux Mint has a very uh, big adoption for uh, new users. It is a very modern uh, desktop environment while offering a traditional user interface and being fairly light on resources makes uh, Cinnamon a balanced choice for many users uh, on Linux, not only the new ones. It is slick, has a pro and polished. It is uh, very customizable, pretty well done and uh, it has a familiar interface. As cons, I would refer, it may not offer the most intuitive user experience, yet being familiar, in some cases not the best uh, experience. Deepin arrives from China and it offers customization and a high candy user interface, but for that it compromises performance. It may offer a user interface similar to macOS, but because of the animations and the layout it incorporates. The looks and feel of Deepin desktop environment is something to appreciate. At the beginning, Deepin was only available on Deepin OS, 
but it is now gradually being adopted on some other distributions as well. Ubuntu DDE has managed to incorporate it on top of Ubuntu distribution, something you should uh, take uh, a look and appreciate also because it is really uh, a very nice in desktop environment. It isn't fairly new, but uh, it is being slowly adopted by other Linux distributions. The pros are in fact the high candy user interface, very beautiful designed, the slick animations and the cons, of course, an heavyweight desktop environment. I have summarized all the pros and cons of the desktop environment options we have seen in this video and they represent the best, the most used and well-known desktop environment available on Linux. I don't want to vote for a winner here or judge any of them. The most important is that you choose the one that you identify yourself with or that best meet uh, your needs. Most of them should be available for a switchover, which means that you can always install an alternative uh, desktop environment from your current distribution, but you have always to confirm the available options and packages. To demonstrate that, I will show you now how we can install, for example, LXQT from a standard Ubuntu that comes with GNOME as the default desktop environment. Let's check that. Now, I have switched to Ubuntu 2010. I am using the command prompt to install Lubuntu minus desktop package. It's quite big, 1.3 gigabytes, but uh, let's take this process so you can see how it goes. Fast forwarding all the install process and when we are finished, I will reboot the machine. And let's do it, sudo so reboot. Let's proceed so you can see how it looks. As you can see, we have the logo, the login screen. I'm logging in with the default. This is still GNOME, but quite different after I switch to LXQT. Now I will log out, go back to the login menu, and before I put my password, I will choose Lubuntu. Now I will put my password and press enter so you can see the look. As you can see, this is LX. QT or Lubuntu, how it is known. You see the aspect is quite uh, different here. Let me browse around a little bit for you so you can see the menu. This is typically like a Windows, right? It could be a nice uh, feature, a nice look for those moving or switching to Linux, all the options, monitor settings, let me switch resolution so you can see how it goes. Here we have it. Nicer resolution in this view. Now let me open a terminal window, Control alt t and here, let me install something for you so we can check it. It can be, for example, glances. A very nice activity monitor or task manager. Here we have it. It's not the same as Ubuntu in terms of aspect, the main user interface, but of course the command line keeps uh, the same. Now let me open a website, for example, something related to Linux news, so we can see how it works. Should be the same, right? We are using Firefox. Let me accept here the terms. 
and open something. Okay, Linux Insider. Glances is running back there. Now, moving on, let me switch to another web page. For example, Linux Today. I'm browsing around, I'm giving you the feel of this Lubuntu user interface LXQT. Now on the bottom right you see time and date, all the typical settings related to audio, network, etc. are available from here. On the menu we can log out here at the bottom left. And now let me switch account and also switch to LXQT desktop. You will see that it is, it is a little bit different in this case. It looks the same, but when we open any window, it will have this dark layout or what we call the dark mode. I'm having here a problem with network. I will fix it right away. Should be gone by now. Okay, let me confirm the password so I can make these updates. And here we have it. It looks nice. What I can tell you is that I like it. I don't know, frankly, if I, if I have to choose between this and GNOME, I think I would prefer GNOME, but mainly the tools are the same, so I don't miss anything. So here you see the task manager, the default one. For those uh, used to GNOME, the tools are the same, so you don't miss any of them. Only the position of the menus, some other tools that might be available or not. So it really depends on what you are used to in each uh, desktop environment or Linux distribution. But of course, you can always install the, the tools and the applications you like the most. Okay, guys, I expect you to choose better after seeing this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please support the channel by subscribing it and press the bell button if you want to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Once again, thanks for watching, hope to see you on my next video and take care, bye bye.